live from Orlando, Florida, it's theCUBE, covering Microsoft Ignite. Brought to you by Cohesity and theCUBE's ecosystem partners. Welcome back everyone to theCUBE's live coverage of Microsoft Ignite here in Orlando, Florida. I'm your host, Rebecca Knight, along with my co-host, Stu Miniman. We're joined by Carmen Crincoli. He is the Senior Program Manager for Strategy and Ecosystem here at Microsoft. Thank you so much for coming on the show, Carmen. Thanks for having me. Really, really excited to be here. Thank you. So before the cameras were rolling, we were talking about, we're, we're going to talk tech in this interview, but right now we're going to talk about solutions and really, and, and really sort of explain what the problems are that you are solving for your customers. So talk about the, the, the customer pain points that, that you and your group are looking to solve. Yeah, so, uh, so the WCD program, when we, we conceived it, was to address a problem that I think a, a lot of people who've worked with Microsoft technology are familiar with. We have some really great technology. It's very easy for users to dive in and start using it, but to really be successful requires an additional level of expertise that you know, not every IT shop is going to have. And it's, uh, it gets more and more complex and we start bringing in more and more IT functionality into the stack with software-defined technologies, that challenge grows. So we, we feel like we've had very, very great um, advances in what our tech can do and we were watching our customers struggle with it and we decided that uh, the best way to fix it is to create a solution program and work with our partners who have that expertise to take them, bundle them together with a set of best practices, some additional testing and validation uh, to ensure that customers are selecting the right hardware for the tasks that they need, and then offer that as a solution instead of as uh, build your own, which is a little more traditional in the, the Windows world. So you, so explain how it works. So you, you, there's a frazzled IT person who's saying, I, just, I don't even know where to begin, but I have these issues. Can you give us some examples of how you, you, you hold a customer's hand through this and walk them through the process? Sure, sure. So uh, I would say the, the, way we, the way we approach it right now is if uh, a customer is going to get on board the HCI train, right, which I think more and more of them are, right? We're, we're watching the industry shift in that direction pretty rapidly now. Um, and they say, you know, I, I've heard about your, the Microsoft technologies, I've heard about Storage Spaces Direct and, and your software-defined networking capabilities, and I, I want to pursue that. You say, well, okay, don't, don't just go buy some servers or recycled servers off the shelf. We want you to contact some of our partners and talk to them about their solution catalog and say, look, this is the kind of workload I'm going to consolidate on it, right? I'm consolidating uh, virtual machines from multiple environments and it's going to be a mix of traditional line of business apps and SQL and all right, and I think I'm going to have about this IO profile and they'll help you size a solution and then deliver it on site and integrate it into your, your business environment, right? And it, uh, it lets you get something that is more tailored to what you need rather than trying to piece it together. All right, so I, I want to hear a little bit more about HCI, uh, but before we do, it, you've got ecosystem as, as part of what you work on. I think most people understand that Microsoft has a huge ecosystem. Yep. Some things are really simple to understand. Server, <laughs> you guys don't make servers. Uh, operating system sits on top of that. The storage piece of it, you know, I, I, I lived, uh, you know, worked in the storage industry for a number of years, worked with Microsoft, obviously a huge player in the software layer, but that was back before we called the things like, you know, software-defined storage and the software-defined data center and, heck, pre-cloud and all that stuff. So you've been there 21 years at Microsoft. Give a little bit about, you know, where Microsoft thinks they need to play, how you partner uh, with the ecosystem out there, and, uh, you know, then, then we'll get into some of the new, the new pieces. Yeah, you know, we, we've always viewed uh, storage as, uh, I mean, it's uh, part of the air you breathe when you're, when you're computing, right? So we, we always partnered with the storage ecosystem to make sure that you know, SANS and NAS devices work inside general IT environments. The shift to a software-defined um, mentality uh, it involves some new learning from a, a Microsoft perspective, right? And we're taking on some of the integration responsibilities that storage vendors typically had. And that's uh, part of what birthed WSSD as a solution program. Um, was if we have to take on all of the integration work, how do we ensure that that's a good quality, right? Just buying some disks off the shelf and plugging them into the motherboard 
uh, does not result in an enterprise quality solution. So we had to you know, define some parameters and then work with OEMs and partners who know how to do the integration work as well, put some testing parameters around it, and turn out solutions, you know, software-defined solutions that worked as well as the highly integrated, tested SANS and NAS devices of the last generation. Yeah. Yeah, great. You know, I, I think back. You know, like most people probably know Microsoft for like SMB. It's like you have protocols that help people with you know NAS devices. Help bring us up to speed when things like HCI. So HCI technology that's been around for a number of years. Many companies partner with Microsoft. Uh, you know, Nutanix is nearby. Partner partners with Microsoft. Uh, VMware partners with Microsoft on some things, but is a big player with their vSAN technologies. You know, what do we call the Microsoft HCI solution and how would you compare and contrast it to uh, the existing solutions out there? So, yeah, you know, that's uh, the traditional uh, strength of Microsoft, right? We're very good at partnering even with people we're competing with, right? And we're very serious about it, right? It's, uh, part of our core DNA is, is partnership and competition at the same time. Um, so, our, our HCI stack is really about uh, integrating the functionality that's there. There's, I would say the way we talk about it, there are three main components. There's the storage layer, which is storage spaces direct. There's the networking layer, which we just call software-defined networking, which includes a network controller and uh, you know, network virtualization uh, capabilities. And then there's the compute layer, which is Hyper-V and the additional capabilities we layer in Hyper-V where we think we add a lot of value. Uh, things like secured VMs and uh, uh, security capabilities that we add on. You layer those technologies together and integrate them into a solution with you know, uh, validated hardware, tested hardware, uh, a network uh, controller, network switch, and you get something that you can integrate into a business environment. Right? These are all capabilities that are in Windows Server 2019 data center. Right? This is not an additional add-on, it's not a component, it's not a thing that you download. Uh, the solution program is really about taking the stuff that's in the box and making sure customers succeed in it without having to bring in all of the expertise into their IT staff from day one. Yeah, uh, thanks for the explanation. The, the one piece, if, if I understand right, Azure Stack also has storage spaces direct in it, so should I look at this as a spectrum of how Microsoft puts the pieces together and uh, you know, the WSSD is just one of the, the, the storage fundamental component that plays a few uh, places along the stack. Am I getting that right? Yeah, it's, it's kind of a foundational technology, right? Just like Windows Server is the, you know, the host layer for all of the upper higher level workloads, Storage Spaces Direct is the foundational layer for building our storage for all of these like hyper-converged solutions. Azure Stack's you know, business goal is different, right? They're looking for Azure consistency and uh, it really giving an Azure experience to a customer on-prem. Uh, WSD is more for the traditional IT shop that's used to running their own virtual environments and they're just looking for you know, some infrastructure hosting of virtual workloads. So we're, we're covering different ends of, uh, I would say, the, the IT maturity spectrum with the two solutions, uh, but the underlying pieces are very much the same, right? The plumbing that powers Azure Stack and the, the, power, the plumbing that powers WSSD and the plumbing that powers Azure is built on a lot of the same core Windows technologies. What are the outcomes of this solutions department? How have you, how have you seen changes in customer behavior and, and, and helping them understand the best practices that have emerged as they implement and deploy different kinds of technologies? I'd say the biggest thing we've noticed is uh, just it, it, we, we get customers to be more successful when they work with our vendors, right? Um, WSD launched, the, the original version of the program for the 2016 launched about nine months after we RTM'd. In that nine month gap, we had a lot of customers who were excited for the technology. We'd been talking about it. Our engineering teams do a great job of, of making people excited for the technology. You know, we get our lovely core IT geeks pumped for this stuff. And they were going out and implementing it on their own, right? Buying hardware that they thought conformed, trying to implement, and we were having a lot of struggles, right? It was generating more support than we'd like. Uh, customers weren't weren't having the, the experience we wanted them to have with it. Since we started the program, and we've been getting customers pointed at our hardware partners that you know, deliver these solutions, we've had a lot more success, right? They're much happier with it. We have uh, multiple um, stakeholders bought into the success of that customer solution, so the, the OEMs are just as invested as we are. 
as opposed to, you know, if you buy a server off the shelf, they're just like, the server's working fine. I don't, you know, that's not my problem. So uh, we're just seeing a lot more customer success out of it. And we, we want to keep driving that forward with the 2019 version of the solution program. All right, so Carmen, uh, any, anything, there's so many announcements that, that were made at the show, anything in your space that you want to make sure, kind of highlight that people might have missed with, you know, you, everybody knows Windows Server 2019's coming, but you know, what, what's that mean for your area or anything outside of that one announcement? I, I think the, the most exciting thing is just some of the, the tech improvements that I know really land with this IT pro crowd that is, is here at Ignite. So uh, yesterday during uh, Aaron Chapel, our, our CVP of Windows Server, during her uh, Windows Server 2019 intro session, she announced a number that we achieved on uh, Windows Server 2019 with uh, Intel uh, Scalable Persistent Memory, uh, I forget what the, the name of it is. Anyway, it was like, it was a crazy IOPS number. It's scalable like, Optane stuff, if scalable I remember, Optane, because yes. we, had, we had Jake on yesterday from Intel, and he was like, you're going to be blown, <laughs> your mind will be blown when you yeah. hear about this. It was so. like 13.8 million IOPS on a 12 node cluster, right? So we, we're, we're continuing our, our engineering focus. We're an engineering company. We love making the tech better, and we're getting people excited for it, and then we're following up with a, by the way, if, if you want this, kind of thing in your environment or you need it, if you need to deliver it, these are the partners you work with. We partner with them, we engineer with them, right? Like this is an engineering, a co-engineering program. Get the solution from them. So, you know, I would say there's, that, that's the, the new thing from my space, right? We get, I get to piggyback on all of this great engineering announcement and work and excitement and say, this is how you succeed with the technology. Don't, don't go do it yourself, go to these people. And we're, and we're here to help you. Yes, yes, I'm, I, so I'm, I'm really grateful that you guys had me on. I, I, uh, one of the things, uh, early things I've been told uh, since I, I took over the program was, I didn't even know Microsoft did HCI. And I didn't know, I definitely didn't know that you had a solution program. And I'm like, I know, I, I will work on fixing that. <laughs> well, I, I mean, Carmen, look, you know, HCI, we understand that the, you know, the virtualization layer is critical there. Yep. Uh, Microsoft, obviously, you know, one of the top players in that industry. So we've been waiting to hear, you know, a, a broader story from, from Microsoft in this space. So congrats on all the progress. Thank you, thank you. I'm, uh, yeah, this has been a really fantastic show so far. Um, we, we actually have a um, uh, hyper-converged um, uh, expo in the, the, the application infrastructure area where I have uh, six of the WSD partners just showing off their solutions in one tight space along with the engineers uh, who work on the, the HDI stack at Microsoft right nearby. So if anyone wants to come check it out, talk to the engineers who wrote the software, it's talk to It's a really them. small space, you hyper-converged it, right? <laughs> yes, yes, it's like, uh, it. The, it is a hyper-converged space, yes. Great, well Carmen, thank you so much and encourage <laughs> anyone who is here at Ignite to go check out that booth and see what's all about. Great, thank you so about. much. I'm Rebecca Knight for Stu Miniman. We will have more from theCUBE's live coverage of Microsoft Ignite coming up in just a little bit.